This here is the Simtech filter pressure alarm switch as an option uh, for Simtech uh, pressure filters. Uh, each uh, pressure filter has a tapped hole that will accommodate uh, a switch uh, either uh, now or any time in the future. Uh, this pressure switch comes in a plastic bag uh, with uh, everything you need uh, to um, attach it to your system. This here is the mounting bracket that we use to actually mount it inside your tank. That snaps right onto the body of the pressure switch as you see here. Um, uh, comes with uh, the wire and uh, the quarter inch tube necessary to get it up near uh, the riser. Um, what I'd like to do today is give you a quick demonstration how to adjust this in the field. Uh, we do recommend that each system be installed with a ball valve. Uh, this makes it much easier to adjust. I'll start the unit right now. Uh, you, would, uh, you would have to fill your pump tank uh, with water, activate your pump. All this needs to be done fairly quickly because your pump tank will run out of water. It, uh, I'll remove the 8 inch pipe plug to access the adjustment screw. Each uh, kit comes with a 3 16th Allen wrench to make the adjustment. We're now running at operating pressure, and what I want to do is back the switch off until I get an alarm, and this will be at operating pressure. I now have an alarm. What I want to do now is give it about three PSI additional pressure. It, uh, each revolution of the pressure switch equals about three pounds pressure, so I, I keep track of where my Allen wrench is, and I'll give it about one, approximately one complete turn. Right there's one complete turn, reset my alarm, and this is, now this is where I'm going to use the ball valve to actually see if I've got this switch adjusted properly. Now watch the gauge, you will see that gauge start to increase as I'm simulating a plug filter. It should be approximately three pounds increase in pressure. There we have an alarm. It, uh, I'm satisfied with my adjustment. Uh, at this point, uh, you can turn your ball valve back to operating position. Replace your eight inch plug. Make sure the eight inch plug is tight so your switch uh, does not get filled with water. Reset your alarm and you're in business.